So Derek Miller of uh, Veritasium fame posted a video uh, and it was about procrastination. Um, I'll uh, show you the clip here. But I want to know about you as well. Is there anything that you have been putting off because you don't want to screw it up? I mean, I think that's the thing that counts against doing things immediately is if you do it now, it might be bad, and then you're going to know that it's bad. And this is, this is like the standard problem that I think most people encounter. I think it's the main reason for procrastination. If you try to do something right now and it goes poorly, you're going to know. And then you can't delude yourself into thinking that it's going to happen at some future time and it's going to be better. So, as you can see, that got me thinking and it actually has inspired me to start this uh, video blog and to try and improve my procrastination. I am a procrastinator. Hi. And I need to try and stop it. I do a lot of things that I should say there's a lot of things that I want to do but very few of those things actually happen so these videos are going to be for me to try and prove to myself using techniques that I'm just learning as I go to try and do more and achieve more and therefore you know Hopefully have a happier life at the end of it. Not that I'm unhappy now, but you know what I mean? I tend to have great ideas. I, you know, never see them through. So I want this to be the start of a new me where I have an idea and I can channel that energy, not get distracted and try and focus on the task at hand and achieve something at the end of it. An example would be a while back, which I'll show you the outcome video of, I decided to do a stop motion animation of a R2-D2 Lego, you know, that I was building and animate it as I was going. I got all the way through to pretty much like the last scene and things got in the way and it stopped and it never got published. So it's just sat there. So, I mean, that was hours, hours and hours and hours of time dedicated up until the last hurdle and then nothing to show for it. So it's it's things like that. It's It's where I get an idea in my head. I run with it. I get so excited about it. Then I don't know, maybe that excitement dies or maybe I get frustrated and I never get to see it through. I think one of the reasons why I don't get to see these things through is because I'm a perpetual planner. I like to try and, you know, put things down to a finite detail of how things are going to be executed. And that leads to constant alterations to these plans, modifications. Oh, I need this to do it. Oh, I need to order X, Y and Z. For it to be better and in the end nothing ever happens hence why I'm doing this video as I am now with my hair completely undone I look a state I haven't even got great lighting I haven't even got great audio but sod it this is at least I'm doing something and so this video blog is going to be about hopefully showing the progress of me achieving things it's I'm sure it's going to show me hitting hurdles. Um, one thing I've noted in myself is that I can't stand failure in the sense that, you know, if I feel something's going to fail, then I just shut down and don't bother doing it anymore. Uh, so I think a realisation for me that things fail, but it's the fact that you've done something in order to fail is what you what I need to be proud of and I need to just accept that failure is part of the process and to not let failure be an end point or to be afraid of failure you know things are going to fail but you just try and get through that and get to the other side 
So hopefully, as I say, this is <laughs> going to be a very different uh, me uh, to how I've always been. I'll ask any of my family members and they will say what a daydreamer I've, I am. This brings me on to my next section of daydreaming. Uh, I am always daydreaming. I will find myself just off on thoughts, getting very distracted uh, through work, through people having conversations with people, uh, just generally when I'm on my own or even listening to an audio book or sometimes watching a movie, oh, my mind will wander. And, you know, while it's great for creativity and having great ideas, it is my main cause of distraction. So going down this route, I decided to have a look at uh, different ways to stop uh, daydreaming so much. Uh, I found a great article. We, I was just on a uh, and how how uh, how to wiki. I think I'll put the link in the uh, comment section or the section below. And what they suggest is you know identify the types of daydreams you have, um, whether it's you know aspirational, whether it's conversations with someone in your head, whether it's just a uh, complete flight of fantasy, uh, those sorts of things, and then put down a sort of a tally chart of, you know, when you have, when you find yourself daydreaming in a certain way, make make a note of it. So I thought that was a great idea. Um, it will then help me identify how many times a day I'm actually daydreaming. Uh, and it also will help me, well, so far it's helped me sort of realize um, my daydreaming and to try and, you know, bring that down to a, a an, an easier to recognize, I know, amount of time before I'm, you know, lost in my thoughts. Uh, I've created several categories, um, a couple of the general ones. So as I say, sort of, um, so projects, goals or project desires, I do a lot of daydreaming with regards to what I could do, what I could achieve, um, whether it's a project with VR or whether it's creating a YouTube blog channel or whether it's being a stand-up comedian or whether it's writing a book. And I will have amazing daydreams where I'm very successful in all of the above and my ideas are great and it all comes out well. And, you know, and it makes me feel very happy. But, of course, nothing ever happens of these things because, you know, I'm, I'm already happy. It's a daydream. It's, it's brilliant. I've got the sense of achievement through just letting my mind wander. Um, the other forms I get are conversations, as I say. So I've put that down to where I get having a conversation either with myself or imagining someone else is there and you know maybe you've had an argument with someone and it's been left uh things have been left unsaid and you you, you go through and you you know it's like oh why didn't I think of that before and you you have this thoughts in your head about ending that conversation or continuing that conversation so that's another category um uh, general absence where you know my mind's wandering but not about anything particular um and, you know, there's a few other uh, categories. Maybe I'll uh, sort of do a, another full blog on that later. So that is it for now. Um, I, like I say, this is completely off the cuff. I just wanted to get something out there um, and to show that I can do stuff, even if there's no planning involved at all. Uh, the only planning for this was to pick up a camera and talk about what I'm talking about now. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it's going to progress. I haven't given myself a timeline for this. I'm just going to add videos. I'm going to say a video once a week at the moment. Um, 
if I feel that that is too little, then I'll, you know, then I will, or if I feel I can do more, I should say, then I will do more. But I'm not going to give myself uh, hectic goals that uh, cause me to stress out. Um, at the moment, this is something which, okay, is serious, but I'm going to treat it as fun. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up, you know, giving up because it's stressing me out and it's no fun anymore. So as long as I keep this fun, as long as I keep this lighthearted, and yeah, and hopefully, you know, we'll see uh, how the uh, progress goes as I go on. So I'm going to end it here. Um if anyone does watch these, then yeah, put <laughs> comments below. But at the moment, I don't expect anyone's going to. This is just for myself in order to get something as an achievable goal out there. Um, so I've started now. Day one, video blog complete.